You see, the name Israel comes from a man named Jacob. And Jacob was renamed by God Israel. The name Jacob means deceiver. Because the beginning part of the story of the people of Israel was that one of their founding fathers was a deceiver. I mean, I don't know why his parents named him deceiver. It's one way of being called out. You haven't done it yet, but you're gonna. We can see it in your little eyes. You're gonna be deceiving throughout your life. Maybe he became what they called him, or maybe they called him what he became, but somewhere along the way, his name became Jacob, and he was the deceiver, and then he had an encounter with God, and God changed his name to Israel, and he changed his name to Israel because the name Israel means one who wrestles with God. Because one night, him and God had an encounter, and God had a wrestling match with Israel, and it says that, that God, in, in his form, could not get away. Do you really think God lost a wrestling match? He's too strong. He's too strong. I don't think it was like that. I think God did not want to win that battle. See, Jacob was wrestling with God. He was struggling with God. And, he's, and he said to God, I will not let go of you until you bless me. And so God blessed him and changed his name to Israel. You are no longer a deceiver. You are Israel, the searcher, the struggler, the wrestler with God. There's some of you here, you think that God is, is angry with you because you're struggling with faith. I want you to know that when God calls you a wrestler with God, someone struggling with God, someone who's struggling with their faith, God is actually affirming you. He's calling you Israel. <laughs> and and I, I meet people sometimes who, who have never struggled with their faith who have never questioned their faith, who received their faith from childhood and, and they've never had any doubts and questions and I'm worried for them. Because it means you haven't grappled with the deep issues of life. See, I think it's absolutely human to struggle with God. To struggle with who God is and how he works and who we are in relationship to him. And he says about Nathaniel, you are a true Israelite. I've seen your struggle. And I love the fact that you refuse to let go. Don't give up on the struggle. 